welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you some activities and crafts for VE Day. So on the 8th of May, which is in a couple of weeks, it's a Friday, it's VE Day and it the, marks the end of the Second World War and this year in 2020 it is the 75th anniversary of VE Day. So a big one. Our village is asking us to decorate our windows as a sort of mark of respect and to celebrate VE Day and kind of as another way to do it, seeing as we're all in isolation. And I thought this would be a really lovely opportunity to do some nice crafts with the girls and some crafts for myself because I love crafting. So some bits and bobs are put together and then we're now going to make a window display. So I thought I'd share these with you, share the crafts I've done and share how I'm going to display them in my window. So the first one was a poppy garland. You don't need to be too precise, you just need about 40 to 50 centimetres long of ribbon. You fold it in half and pin it at about eight centimetre intervals and then you sew in kind of a U shape continually all the way long then pull it tight and then just attach a button onto it and when you've got enough you can just then pin it onto a ribbon. Next I wanted to make a poppy wreath and used um, egg cartons and a paper plate and just some paint. So a really quick simple activity. You just cut your egg carton top off and the extra little bit that you don't need anymore and then I found it easiest to just snip the kind of top divider bits off like this and then you can get your scissors all the way in so it makes cutting up your egg cart on that little bit easier so I just snipped my egg cart and you need about 12 individual egg shapes so I just chop these all up and then to make them look more like poppies you kind of just curve, cut in a curve around them and depending on how many petals you want you can um, just leave it so you've got two or three petals or you can kind of cut a little extra indent into one of the longer sides to make more petals. I just did a variety whatever kind of was easiest when I was cutting them up. On this one you can see I had a long edge so I decided to snip into it to make it into two separate petals. Just curve them off to make them neater. And they look quite realistic, quite nice poppy shapes. And then obviously you need to paint them. I found they took a couple of coats and just left them to dry for each coat. And then the paper plate, I just cut a circle out of it and painted that one green. Another really effective but simple idea was to do a silhouette of a soldier. He enlisted the help of my husband to kind of draw it and we just stuck a load of pieces of black paper together and drew, copied a picture we'd found on Pinterest. Yes, that is still in the girls running past in the background. <laughs> um, but I think it looks really effective, especially with the light behind it. Final craft I did was these tissue paper stained glass window effect poppies. All you need is some black paper, or better still black card and some tissue paper and some sticky black plastic. So you cut out a template, I just freehand drew some templates of poppies and cut out the centre. You need to then stick those templates onto some sticky black plastic and then Emily helped me use the tissue paper to fill in the red and green. Right, so here's the window I'm working with. It's a nice big bay window. I apologise when I'm putting things up, the lighting might not be brilliant because obviously the light's going the wrong way. But I'm going to pop some of the crafts up that I've created here.
enjoyed this video and it gave you a few crafty ideas of things that you can make or do with your little ones to celebrate VE Day and the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming your way like this soon. Catch you next time. Bye!